God gave this to someone in a dream because of you. God gave this to someone in a dream because of you. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. God gave this to someone in a dream because of you. And this word is coming to us from Genesis chapter 31 and verse 24. And it says, And God came to Laban the Syrian in a dream by night and said unto him, Take heed that thou speak not to Jacob, either good or bad. In other words, in your tra Bible translation says, God came to Laban in a dream and told Laban, be careful what you say or do to Jacob. And at this point in time, this is happening after Jacob has taken his two wives, the, who are the daughters of Laban, and their servants and all his cattle or everything that he had and grand and, and his children. And he left. While Laban was out of the house, Jacob decided to take his family and his and everything that he had and left without the knowledge of Laban. So when Laban comes back home and discovers Jacob has left, he was so angry and then he sets out following him. And then while he is following him with that anger, God appears to him in a dream and warns him. Say, be careful what you say or do to Jacob. And in the verses, in the verses that follow that scripture, we realize that Laban actually catches up to Jacob and then talks to him. And at some point he's like, you deserve punishment for what you did. For taking my, my daughters without even allowing me to kiss them goodbye, without even allowing me to greet my grandchildren, everything that you did, you deserve punishment. He says, but what can I do? God appeared to me and warned me. Someone, the reason why you think you are alone is because God has not opened your eyes to see the things he's doing for you behind closed doors. That you don't see it does not mean God is not working. That, you do, that God is silent does not mean he has abandoned you. God is actually fighting battles for you behind closed doors. God is actually appearing to people, warning them for you, for your sake. God is talking to someone on your behalf. God is fighting battles for you that you didn't even know you have. Thank God God appeared to Laban. Otherwise... Laban would have dealt with Jacob mercilessly. But because of this, Laban couldn't do anything else. Hallelujah. God says, I should tell you, he has got your back. He's watching you and is protecting you. God bless you. Shalom.